right, so let's get into it. This is a, um, a yoga sequence. What I want you to do, we'll go through the steps of the sequence, we'll learn it over the next three or four days, and then we'll add the breathing to it as well. Start with your feet sort of parallel. Your second biggest toe should be lined up with your, the middle of your ankles. Your ankles should be directly under your knees, your knees directly under your hips. <coughs> and that's our good, uh, good, good stance. And knees should be relaxed, not pitched back. A toe should be able to wiggle. Upper body, like nice and upright, as best you can. I want you to put your hands out to the side of your body. Stand up tall. And just take, close your eyes and take a good breath. Keep going. I want you to feel whatever you can feel. If you can feel the wind rustling between your fingers, fantastic. If you can feel the wind playing on your face, fantastic. This is about dialing in our bodies to be really present to being right here. So our bodies are engaged and we're ready for a workout. Okay, so the sequence starts like this. Bring your hands over in front of you and put your hands in front of your chest. I should say that this is also the time when you set an intention for your day. Whatever it's gonna be, I'm gonna be kinder to my kids, I'm gonna be kinder to myself, I'm gonna get that project done that I've been meaning to get done for a while. Whatever your uh, outlook or intention for the day is, now is the time to set it in your mind. So one more time, think of something you wanna to achieve today, the way you wanna be, breathe it in, Think of that objective and set ourselves up for a good day. Reach your hands up and over your head, stretch out of your shoulders, and then lean back. Come down now, soften the knees, run your fingers down your shins if you have to, place your hands on the floor, reach one leg back, your right leg, and drop the knee and look up. Now we're going to bring our left leg to our right leg in plank and hold it. Drop the knees, the chest and the forehead and roll forwards into baby cobra. Just easy, easy stuff, nothing difficult. Drop the head a little, pitch the toes under, lift up into downward dog. And while we're here, just because we're getting started, I want you to pat out the feet. Stretch them out a little. While we're here. Okay, now we're going to bring that left leg back through our hands again to the front and then look up. Join your right leg to your foot. Again, soft knees if you have to, to keep your hands down or straighten them out if you can. Rise up with your hands, reach back and look up, drop them down, and that's one sequence. We do it on the right leg first, and then we do it on the left leg. We rotate this around, and once we know the sequence really well, we will add in the breath work. All right, so let's go and do it together. And begin, arms out and down. Reach up, stretch up tall, lean back. Soft knees, hands down to the floor. Take your left leg back now, drop your knee and look up. Bring your right leg to join your left, hold in plank, lower down, up into baby cobra. Turn your toes under behind you, pick your bum up, downward dog, bring your right leg forward, drop the neck, look up. Join your feet together, bring your hands in front of you, up, reach back, and we start over again, I'll turn sideways. Arms out, bring down. Reach up, lean back, hands down. Track your shins if you have to, soft knees. Take your right leg back, drop your knee, look up. Join your foot to plank, knees, chest, head down. Go forward into baby cobra. Turn your toes under, bum up. Down dog, bring your left leg as forward, as far forward as it can. If you have to wiggle your toes forward, do so. Hook up. 
Join your legs together and reach up. Stretch back and down. And again, arms out and down. Reach up, look up. And then we go, soft knees, track down, left leg back. Drop the knee, look. Feet together into plank. Head, chest, down. Bend the cobra. Down we go. Right foot forward. Look up. Join the feet together. Reach up. Reach back. And down. Again, arms down and down. Arms up and reach back. Hands down to the floor. Right leg back. Drop the knee. Into plank. Drop the knees, chest and head. Head up. Down the dog. Left leg forward. Drop the knee and look up. Legs together. Reach up. We'll do it two more rounds. And down, arms out and in. Reach up and back. Hands down for the floor. Reach your left leg back. Drop the knee. Into plank. Knees, chest, head. Maybe cobra. Down the dog. Right leg forward. Look up. Feet together. Reach up. Stretch back. And down. Last time, other leg. Arms out and down. Reach up. Stretch back. Track down. Right leg back. Drop your knee. Look up. Into plank. Drop your knee, your chest, and your head. Up forward. Turn your toes under. Downward dog. Left leg forward. Drop the knee and look up. Feet together. Reach forward, look back, and down. Okay, you should start to feel a bit of heat now, hopefully. And if all that was a complete jumbled mess for your body, because you don't know the sequence, you'll get that in time. So just stick with it. But that's the sequence that we will learn and practice with. Um, it's from the Hatha yoga tradition. And then we'll add the breathing as we get to know the, the sequence of that, and that will just flow very nicely.